Hi everyone, my name is Jacintha. I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan, and I operate a business called Center Stage Bath and Body Products. Uh, I've been in business for about four and a half years now, and just this year made the decision to go full-time with it. So previously I was working uh, a full-time job and doing this on the side, but this is now my main source of income, which is very exciting, also very scary at the same time. So I am very excited today because Perlator just pulled up and dropped off my $1,250, $1,300, I'm not sure, uh, Island Escape fragrance order. This is the largest order I've received from them. I'm not going to lie, I've <laughs> received a lot of orders from them in the last year especially. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is kind of the evolution of ordering through Island Escape and how it's worked for me. So. When I first started out uh, my business, I was ordering very small little bottles, little sample size bottles. I think these are one ounce or two ounce, 1.5. Uh, and, you know, had several of these uh, sitting in the basement uh, available for customers. And then as things started to progress, I moved on to these. I think these are like a four ounce uh, size. I still do order these sometimes when I'm trying out a new scent uh, that I haven't ordered before. Of course, moving up into, I believe this is like an eight ounce size, um, onto the, I think this is the one pound, the 16 ounce. <laughs> and most recently getting into the, the big guns here, the five ounce size. So that's definitely indicative of how my business has grown uh, and I'm so grateful that Island Escape has been with me every step of the way. Uh, everyone there has helped me out so much. Nicole and Mitzi uh, especially have been amazing. They're always there to answer questions that I have um, and help out. So I'm going to <laughs> go through this as quickly as I can today uh, with the un unboxing of all these scents. Some of them are new to me and some of them are customer favorites that I'm just stocking up on. Uh, of course, in true Island Escape fashion, I have my bag of candy. Uh, my stepson will be very excited about this. I myself am vegan, so there are a few things in here that I will pull out. Uh, the rockets I can eat for sure. The rest will probably go to my stepson, so thank you for that. Uh, handwritten note, thank you so much for your support. Happy making, love that, very personal. And then their little card with the upcoming fall scents. This is very handy. I'll probably end up ordering many of these that I don't already have. All right, so getting going today, if you could see all the bottles in front of me, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the first one here, Beach Bum. Uh, my customers tend to love anything that is like tropical, coconut, beach, anything along those lines, pina colada. Um, it's nice, it kind of has a, almost like a florally scent to it, which is interesting. Um, Moon Mist Creamery. This was part of the ice cream collection or the creamery collection that just shipped uh, a few weeks ago that I received, but was waiting on the Moon Mist. Oh, and that smells really good. All of the uh, ice cream shop collection is amazing. <laughs> By the way, if you don't already have it, uh, I would recommend checking it out for sure. Uh, strawberry shake. I always like to have at least a few different strawberry options available for kids items and just because of customer preferences. So yeah, that one smells as you would expect, like a strawberry shake. Uh, cool clear water. I'm guessing this one's going to be a little bit more kind of minty or masculine smelling. Yeah, definitely a masculine smell to that one. Uh, I do find that I'm kind of 50-50 with my customers. I have the ones that like the fruity or the candy scents, and then I have the ones that like the, the warmer scents or the more like minty eucalyptus scents. Uh, ambered tobacco leaf. I love anything amber, so I'm sure that this one will be one of the first ones that I try out when I start making today. Fairly mild, uh, but very, very nice. Bubblicious. Uh, I used to get the bubblegum scent and I was looking for something uh, that would kind of work in its place. So this is what I ordered for that. And definitely smells very similar to bubblegum. So I'm happy with that one um, in the place of bubblegum. Uh, passionate Kisses. 
can't really remember what the description is of this. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've got a lot of bottles sitting here. It's um kind of candy like I would say. Definitely, definitely good. Uh, Castaway Islands, this one I already have, so I'm not gonna open it. This came in the subscription box. Again, anything coconutty, islandy, tropical, my customers love it, so that's good that I have another one of those. Uh, thousands of Wishes. Again, that one is kind of, uh, kind of reminds me of some of the, the fairy scents from the fairy collection, kind of a more warm or more almost perfumey smelling scent, uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, blueberry pumpkin, pumpkin. It's hard for me to say that because I want to say pumpkin. Um, this is just an example of Nicole being awesome. I accidentally ordered a candle only pumpkin scent did not mean to do that um and she let me know and asked if I wanted to switch it out and gave me a few options so I choose chose the uh, blueberry pumpkin pumpkin <laughs> one and that one smells amazing uh I love anything pumpkin flavored so the pumpkin pecan cheesecake that came in the ice cream shop collection and I think I have another like spiced pumpkin or something like that from the recent uh clearance sale Definitely love this blueberry pumpkin <laughs> scent and we'll be trying that out. Uh, Blue Raspberry Slushy. I've had this one before from a previous supplier. I won't give you their name because I am Island Escape all the way right now. Definitely smells very similar to that one, so I'm happy with that. Uh, coconut Cream Pie. Again, anything coconut, my customers love it. I do have the Banana Cream Pie, so I'm assuming this one's gonna be a little bit similar to that, but more coconutty. Definitely love that one. Uh, like a Boss. Again, I can't remember the description of this, but I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit more warm or a little bit more maybe perfumey smelling. Yeah, that one's a more, more of a warm scent for sure, and I muchly enjoy it. Um, pineapple and Coconut Water. I have a few pineapple scents, um, the fresh pineapple, the Hawaiian lush cake, so I wanted to add another one of those options. Similar to the Hawaiian lush cake, uh, we'll see what it smells like in bath bombs, um, but very nice as well. Uh, Hawaiian tropical, guaranteed this one will be a big seller. I'm getting really good at opening these bottles, by the way. Yep, that one is also quite nice. Um, this one I'm very excited about, Lavender Martini. Uh, I find lavender goes either way with my customer base. They either love it or they highly dislike it. Um, I have the Lavender Mint Wow, which is very, very popular. And then there's a Coconut Milk and Lavender. I think that scent might be discontinued. Nicole, you should bring that back. Um, so... This one, Lavender Martini, to add to the lavender scents. Definitely going to be making that one this week. Um, Secret Wonder. Again, I'm guessing this is probably more similar to some of the fairy ones, a little bit more warm or perfumey. I'm not a soaper or anything, so I don't know how to <laughs> accurately describe the different scents. It's basically candy, fruity, warm, perfumey. Uh, Secret Wonder. I really like this one. Um, I think it might have possibly like a coconut cream in it. If it does, that's why I ordered it because I love anything coconut cream. Uh, London Fog, one of my very, very best friends. Um, I'm 40 now, we've been very good friends since we were about 18, 19 years old. I uh, asked if I could bring in a London Fog scent. So this one is for her. And that one, that one's really nice. It kind of kind of would fit well with all those different ice cream scents that I was talking about earlier. Um, okay, and I'm not gonna open these ones because these are ones that I already have. Lavender Mint Wow, one of my absolute best sellers. Um, I also use it in, I do a bubble bath and shower gel and it works really well in there. Uh, Blue Creamsicle, another great children's scent. 
Uh, one of my absolute favorite, also very popular with many of my customers, especially those that are more into the eucalyptus, the mint, uh, the blues. I adore this scent, uh, highly recommended. Coconut Cabana, I have to start making triple batches of these because I usually do a batch of about 12 at once and they sell out within days and then I have to make more. Uh, green Apple Candy, another good kids scent. Uh, citrus and Strawberry, funny because I didn't really like this oil very much, but initially I guess. Uh, one of my regular customers absolutely adores it, so I brought it in for her uh, and it also does really well in the bubble bath and shower gel so it's one that I plan to keep on using for that uh, and then finally a few other things I got here um, fairy dusters so my stepson and I call these sparkle guns and <laughs> they are time savers they're amazing uh, I got two of those uh, and then a white um, mica from mad micas I I'm not gonna lie, I don't love painting bath bombs. I'm more of a swirler for round bombs. And when I do shapes, uh, I, I just kind of got into doing the painting. Uh, so I've been at, uh, ordering some of the micas and I wanted a really good white. So that is what this is for. And that's it, that's all. So, so excited. Um, I have no idea where I'm going to put all these. I'm running out of space. I did order a few racks. But again, thank you so much if you tuned into my unboxing video. And thank you again to the entire team at Island Escape. Um, you've been there with me as I have consistently grown my business. Again, anytime I've reached out, anytime that I've needed help with something, uh, you've gone above and beyond. So definitely a customer for life. You probably will not get an order from me for a few months, however. Uh, so again, thanks everyone. I hope you have a great day and happy making. Bye.